Yeah, thanks, Patrick. Um, it goes without saying, today is an incredibly tough day uh, for our program, uh, specifically for the players on this team. Um, going forward, our priority uh, is to support them uh, both immediately and as the season unfolds. Um, I had to make an incredibly difficult decision today uh, for a change in leadership of our football program. Um, couldn't have more respect for Coach Christ, for who he is, uh, for what he stands for, for his commitment to this place. Um, first and foremost, to our student athletes, to our players. Uh, nobody uh, has their best interests at heart or cares about them like Coach Christ. And so, um, just couldn't have, couldn't, couldn't say, couldn't say anything better about Coach Christ right now. Um, I'm tasked with making difficult decisions about the future and of the direction of this program. And I felt at this point in time that a change was needed. I met with Coach Chris this morning. We had a long meeting, we talked about it, and um, we agreed to move on with this change and this decision. Um, we're fortunate to have Coach Leonard here on our staff, uh, confident that he can lead this team through the balance of this season. That's our priority right now. Our priority is to make sure that these kids get the most out of this season and out of their experience at Wisconsin. Uh, so I'm comforted by the fact that Jimmy's on staff uh, and I'm confident that he'll do a great job. Um, again, uh, I can't uh, discredit the amount, of, uh, uh, the amount of people this affects, specifically uh, Coach Chris and his family, our current players, the staff around this. It's a big decision. It's got implications that are not lost on me. Um, but uh, really, really uh, thankful uh, to have been able to work side by side with Coach Christ through uh, some incredibly exhilarating, uh, positive moments and, um, and some tough ones like today. And so we'll push forward uh, and we'll push forward this season under Coach Leonard's leadership, and uh, our focus will be on uh, making the most of this season for our team. Thanks. Uh, obviously, a very emotional day for myself and our staff and our players. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Christ and everything he's done for this program. I mean, his family and this program mean everything to him, and um, I think it's 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 our duty, you know, my duty as a coach, um, and to get our staff and players to rally, you know, behind him and, and really fulfill everything that he had envisioned for this team, which we still think is is out there. And um, it's unfortunate, you know, myself. I had a, a long relationship with Coach Christ as a player, um, mentor me, you know, as I got into coaching, you know. This man hired me with zero coaching experience and, and named me his coordinator a year later. So very emotional day for myself. Um, and with that being said, it's you know a, a dream for myself coming out of, uh, of that nightmare. And I, I want to respect him and his family in, in all ways. And um, this place means a ton to myself. Um, and it means so much to, to everyone who is committed to be here with the athletic department, the players, the faculty, um, the coaching staff, and um, we, we want more, we want better, and, and that's my goal is to try to help get us in that direction um, in a unique time. And I'm up to that task, and I'm excited for that, that journey that we're about to go on, um, but definitely a very emotional day um, for all of us all. Thank you, Jim. We'll take questions now. And again, just raise your hand and we'll get a microphone from either side. Uh, we can start right here in the front and then we'll go to Jesse. Hey, Chris. Alex Grover, the ESPN Madison. What did you see this season that, that led you to think an in-season change was the right move here? Yeah, I, I think, you know, this isn't a, certainly not a decision that's uh, taken lightly. It's not a game-by-game -game decision. Uh, this is a decision that's based upon uh, where we're at as a program. And, um, you know, I, I think it's important to make a decision uh, 
when I feel it's r the right time, w w given the circumstances of where we're at as a program right now. And so um, it's a tough time to make a transition, um, but I felt it was the right time, and, and um, that's what led me to it. Jesse Temple, The Athletic. Um, Chris, uh, it's been reported that Paul's buyout was somewhere between, I don't know, 16 or $19 million. Can you provide any clarity on uh, where that's coming from, or was a decision made that kind of changes that number? Yeah, Jesse, um, you know, we'll share more about um, the specifics of where we ended up uh, with Paul uh, at a future date soon. Um, what I can tell you today is that the number that we agreed to is uh, significantly less than uh, the numbers that have been reported uh, or even uh, the number that um, would have been due per the terms of his contract. Colton Bartholomew, Wisconsin State Journal. Chris, you said this decision comes from where you're at as a program. Where do you feel like you're behind or lacking or not where you want to be as a program to make this decision? Yeah, uh, Colton's a good question. Um, you know, I, I've made it the practice of not um, commenting on the specifics uh, of our program or our personnel or the players on it or the coach, you know, uh, what happens in the in the details? Uh, that's the role of a coach, um, and so you know those are the kind of questions that you know going forward will be directed to Jimmy. Um, I would just comment more holistically on on where we're at, um, the expectations of our program at Wisconsin are to win championships, and um, I felt that it was time it was it was the right time to make a, a change uh, to pursue those. On the left over here, Colton Leslie, NBC 15. How were the players informed and what was their reaction to the news? Yeah, um, we, Coach Chris, Coach Leonard, and I um, met with the team this evening. Um, we had a closed door meeting uh, with everything, everybody around the program. Uh, goes without saying, and I mentioned it earlier, uh, you know, it's a tough it's a tough day for us all, uh, given how much we all cared for, and how much we love Coach Christ. Uh, his players are are first on that list in terms of how much they care for him. And um, uh, it was a it was a tough meeting, and it's one that's uh, in my mind going to live in that meeting room. All right, Jim uh, Mike Hogan from Badger Twenty Four Seven. One of the biggest challenges uh, in your mind ahead, uh, you know, you still have games prepared for and then dealing with a locker room, I imagine, is pretty shaky. Yeah, number one is the emotion. Um, I mentioned the, the players. Like, majority of these players, a huge determining factor in coming to Wisconsin is Coach Christ, right? So, um, very shaken with the news. Um, we understand that. Our five game resume this year is not what we wanted. We have not been playing up to our capabilities. And um, even before this news, you know, there were some hard conversations that were had today between coaches, players, among the staff on, on how do we get it corrected. And uh, so I think the emotions, um, being very open and real about where we currently are and what can we do to win this coming Saturday. And, and the timeline of this obviously is unique. Um, stepping into this role and just kind of how that will shake up uh, staff dynamics and you know understanding that we have to compartmentalize a lot of our emotions in order to give our players the best opportunity to win this coming week um, because that's that's not getting moved so um, that's going to be the biggest issue in the short term you know in long term there will be a lot of discussions on, on what we can do differently and what we need to do differently but but right now it's how do we control the emotions and, and how do we get our players to compartmentalize being a kid, going home, being a student, um, and then when they're in this building, being able to focus and uh, get prepared to win a game. Evan? Jim, Evan Flood, 24-7 Sports. I'm assuming this isn't the way you wanted the job, but I was curious if you could just kind of talk about your emotions, you know, coming full circle here from a player and, and now becoming the head coach. Um, you know, it was kind of bittersweet and, you know, in the same sense, you know, not that you have to provide too many details, but, you know, what was it like to kind of connect with Paul after that 
happened and um, you know, maybe what he had to say for you when he kind of passed that torch down to you. Yeah, obviously unique circumstances to get here and, and want to be very sensitive to Coach Christ and you know, the conversations and the relationship we had. Um, you know, he has a ton of confidence in me and he made that very clear when he hired me and, and he made that very clear today in his message. Um, this place means a lot to me. You know, I, I really felt like I grew up here. I've talked about this many times. You know, I really became who I am at the University of Wisconsin and in this football program and, and around you know, so many people that, that are still here today. So to have an opportunity to, to be in this position um, is not one that I take lightly and, and, and very excited for. Very mixed emotions at this point, but um, I feel like I can take this opportunity and help this place grow. And, and that's why I came back a number of years ago and that's why I haven't left. And, and that's the mission that, that I want to continue for with our guys and just getting them to understand the trust, the confidence we have um, in this group of men that, that we will get this thing going the right direction and, and it's going to happen sooner than later. Mark down front. Chris, uh, Mark Stewart from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Uh, just wondering if you can kind of speak to some of the traits you've seen in Jim that you think will make him successful in, in this role. Yeah, I don't know that I can say anything about Jim that hasn't been uh, already well documented throughout the years. Uh, obviously, um, you know, the fit that Jim brings to this program, um, his competitiveness, his work ethic, uh, those are all gimmies. Um, you know, clearly, you know, his ability to lead and uh, his ability to teach. Um, you know, we're fortunate uh, to have Jimmy on the staff, uh, that we're in a position uh, that we can um, entrust this level of uh, responsibility and leadership to somebody like Jimmy. Um, and so uh, I mentioned earlier, I, I mean, I'm confident uh, that there's nobody who can do it better at this moment in time uh, than Jim. And, um, you know, our, our collective focus uh, everybody around this program and in it uh, is to try to maximize the season for our team. Colton, Chris, uh, Colt Breath, Long, Wisconsin State Journal. You mentioned that this isn't a game by game decision. It's not like a, a knee jerk reaction. How, how long has this been on your mind of evaluating where the program's at and wanting to make this or make a decision to yeah. possibly impact the program in your mind? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think it's my role to, um, have you know the position of our program always on my mind, um, and um, you know I think we just reached a point where uh, today I felt was the right time to make that decision, and um, you know I mentioned it's not one I take lightly. It's it's an incredibly tough day for us all, but um, uh, I'm optimistic that you know uh, today's the first day of of uh, the future of this program and of the direction that we'll take it. Evan, maybe it's too early to know, and this is a better question for another day, but you know, is the hope that Coach Leonard takes this job and then runs with it, or do you kind of feel like there's going to be a, a search after the season regardless? Yeah, I mean, I think I owe it to this program to do a, a full search when the time is right. Um, those, or that topic, though, is um, not today's priority. Today's priority was... Um, to take care of the kids in this program, and um, and from you know here on forward, the priority is this week to beat Northwestern, and uh, to do everything we can for the program. But um, you know that's as far as my thoughts have gotten. Let's go, Mark here in the front. Jim uh, Mark Stewart from the Journal Sentinel again. Um, as far as your role and roles on the staff, uh, will you continue to? Uh, coordinate the defense in your role as interim head coach. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you kind of, what changes might be in store for the staff that you've already figured out. Uh, to me, it's it's so fresh right now. We're, we're working through a lot of possible situations. Uh, obviously going to do everything in my power to make sure the defensive plan is exactly where it needs to be for this week, whether I'm calling it or, or handing on the responsibilities on game day. We're not, not there yet. Um, but you know, 
it's 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 been an interesting afternoon. It really hasn't hasn't had enough time to settle in as far as how this thing is going to play out the remainder of the season. But we're going to get our guys ready to play, and uh, and we're going to go out there and put a good product on the field on Saturday because our guys understand the importance of of this game.